Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He has made us laugh on the big and small screen for over a decade, starring in the hilarious film Tropic Thunder, which is so my favorite, and Big Mama's House 2, as well as the hit Showtime series Californication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now he's moving to a more serious role in the upcoming film Trap City. Please welcome Brandon T. Jackson. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. The way you said it, it's not like a comedy, though. <laughs> It doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth. That's just, that's just not my thing. No, you know, you know what it is though. I, I wanted to do something that that you know personifies our stories. Yes. And, and it's not just about it's you know it's like don't get caught in the trap. Mm -hmm. It's not about you see it's like a reverse thing where people think you say trap city. I, you know people are like how many trap movies are you gonna get? I'm like right. You know it's like you gotta understand that you have to reach people where they at. You right. You don't wanna have just you know you don't wanna become off self righteous. You don't wanna reach people where they at. So right. I yeah. want to do something that. You know, it's different. I play a rapper. is It's pretty much like uh, the Takashi Six Nine. Are you loyal to the streets? Oh, oh wow. Mm. Or are you loyal to uh, you know to to, to the, the <gasps> oh, righteous no. code? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I look, I look kind of. Oh. Oh yeah, gosh. yeah. I look a little, little beat up there. Yeah. 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 By, by the cops. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. Uh, it's uh, speaking of, of, of reaching people where they mm -hmm. are, uh, Kingdom Over Everything yes. is a movement. For mm -hmm. those people who don't know, tell everybody what that is. Well, we're a tour-based company. Um, we're, 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 uh, we're, I say we're ratchet, we're righteous, and we're royal. You know mm, what I'm saying? Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we like to take people from, you know, uh, uh, if, if you, wherever you are, to, to your, your righteousness and, and bring you to royalty. But mm. we are a tour based company. We are, we are kosher. We, uh, we go by the law of the most high. This is what we are. And um, we, we believe that, uh, that, that we are, are special people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? People that go in, in that code and understand it. So yeah. that's what's worked for me, and mm -hmm. that's been my power source. I don't like to, I'm, one thing I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a religious extremist at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a, this is a lifestyle brand. Mm -hmm. If you choose to want to live this lifestyle, you can. If you don't, that's up to you. I don't do the whole, you're gonna die. It's right. like, <laughs> <laughs> no, people is like oh, my way or no way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has their choice. Yes, you know what I'm saying? thank and you. I choose to serve the God of Israel, mm -hmm. so that's just that's just my choice. But everybody can have their choice. And if you wanna, you know, rock with us, we kingdom over everything. If you don't, I mean, we 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 still love you. We like yo, you know, we don't. I don't do the whole extra right. stuff because yeah. there's no point. Yeah, you know, speaking of, you know, um, following God and 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 and, be, and tapping into your spirituality. Just thinking about the industry, the entertainment industry mm -hmm. as a whole, what do you do to stay grounded and to stay focused on that path despite mm -hmm. all of the foolishness and devils mm -hmm. <laughs> that be down <dead. laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. right. good you. and surround in the industry? Uh, to do my best to, um, to keep kosher. You know, like Daniel, he was, we, we're not able to, to eat and do certain things that, that everybody, my power source don't allow me to do it. And when I was able to, when I did it, I went through a lot of, personal things that really a lot of demons I had to fight mm -hmm. personally yeah. Yeah. because I went against that code mm -hmm. of Torah. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of us teach that the law is done away with. I totally disagree with that. And I, I believe that we're saved by faith through grace, but the grace keeps us back into the law mm. of holiness. That's what I feel. Now, I may be wrong, but I don't, it was working for me. Yes. I made a covenant from the Most High when I was a child that if he made me famous, I would build his kingdom. Yeah. That's a different covenant I have. I made yep. that covenant. Yep. Mm -hmm. I fell from that covenant. I'm back on that covenant, and now I have financing to do films and distribution. So, look at that God. It works for you. It, it so works for me. God, right? not, it may not work for everybody. I'm not trying but it to, does work for you. Well, I be, well, you know, but, but, they have, but you have to taste and see. <laughs> yeah. You can't just be like, can't force you can't force people to do anything. You can, right. you know, and that's, that's, you know, and I, I come from this family line, so it's not like I, you know, we grew up in this. My grandfather, great grandfather, you know, it's just like, it's, I just. But you're living your life, and that's showing people. You don't have to speak it. You you walk yeah. and walk. Yes, walk it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a blessing. Speaking of walk, let's talk about uh, Trap City for a second. Trap, real quick. <laughs> real quick. Real quick. Yeah, real quick. Just, can you just tell us what the walk away is that you want people to see? I want them to know that they don't have to get caught in the trap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can get trapped. You can get trapped in all these traps and the, the things that goes on. And I, uh, the real message is like, life has decisions, and you got to make the right ones. And what's what's true loyalty? Are you loyal to the game, or are you loyal to the righteous code? Because I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, they say, well, what's snitching? Back in the day, we used to, and, and we could talk about this later. We can we, talk about what's snitching. And right. We are going to talk about what's snitching, but right now we we got to go to break. But if you're staying <laughs> with us for the full <laughs> hour, first of all, be sure to check out his um, new movie, Trap City, and follow his Kingdom Over Everything movement on Instagram. If you're staying with us for the full hour, Brandon, stay with us to all to join us for the conversation. So and just like that, we're back with actor and comedian Brandon T. Jackson. Of course, the new movie, Trap City.
This is a dramatic role for you. Mm -hmm. Talk about your preparation um, as compared to other roles that you've done and uh, how did you approach it? Uh, I really, honestly, yes. it's gonna sound really bad, but I drank a lot on this film. Oh. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. It sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. I gained weight. I, I wanted to feel exactly, I wanted to, I know our, I wanted to be trapped in everything that we are trapped in. Mm -hmm. Character. Getting character. Into character. Mm -hmm. he, he's not making it. He's a loser rapper. He drinks a lot. He's this, he's, I want to get ugly. I want to get dirty. Every movie I've done is like, oh, you know, but, you know, now it's like, they, they killed me on the shade room. They was like, like when I, they was like, you, you look horrible. You gained weight, you fell yeah, off. You look, yeah, you felt like they killed me. And I was, it was cool because I, that's what I wanted because I wanted, I wanted to show a mirror to society of, of how we are trapped mm. in a trap. Mm. So I kind of took on that. And then it was like, it was tough. I was mm -hmm. very temperamental. I was very angry. Um, and a lot of our, our men, um, I, I, we are like that sometimes mm. because we don't have a voice. And then every mm. time it feels like the, uh, we get to that point, it's like society kind of beats us down. So I wanted to personify that in the character. Wow. So it was a lot. Look, I'm, I, I'm not saying that this is some, for me, I, I just did the, I did the best I can do because I'm, I'm a naturally fun guy. Mm. I, I'm a light, I'm a light, like hearted person. Brandon, talk you know, to so me. So I had to kind of. Talk to us a little bit about what you just said. You just said something, and then you ran away from it right oh, quick. But know. you just said, <laughs> we don't have a voice. Yeah. That's the first time I've, I've really heard a black man say that he does not have a voice, like just like that. And you mm -hmm. said, so you got into character to show that because mm -hmm. we don't have a voice. Break down what you mean by that. Because every time we have a voice, it comes off as extremism. Like mm -hmm. we just, our point of view, just because of what it is, it doesn't have to be, you know, you know I guess it's, it's the octave people are scared of. When you... When you talk like, brother, see, people are like, whoa, you know what I mean? When you just speak and say, look, we are oppressed in this way, and that's how we feel. We're not eating right, we're not doing this. And every time we try to do something, that's what it is. And that's what the character personifies. Mm. He's trapped in a trap. He does his relationship is off. He don't have no money. He's just he's just a struggling rapper. Mm -hmm. He's a drop man, uh, you know, for, for, for a drug. It's like all this stuff is piling down on him. And then, you know, um, we have to come together and reason with people who do have fun money. We don't have to yell, there's no more yelling. All this yelling stuff gotta stop. We gotta mm -hmm. say, look, this is what's real. We all live on the same earth together. This is our code, honor our code. We understand your code and we can trade together and understand. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Instead of just this yelling stuff back and forth. So I think this character for me is, is something that was personifying how we are as black men and as, as people too trapped in the trap. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was hard because if everybody asked, I apologize to, Everybody on set, I was a little angry all the time mm -hmm. because um, you know I, I was I was I, I took on kind of that that spirit. I'm being mm -hmm. honest, it mm -hmm. was not was getting into character. Uh, yeah, and everybody was like, "Oh, he's crazy." I'm, like, I'm not, you know. So, well, with, with that lack of voice, we, we, it's nomination season, it's it's award season. We got the Golden Globes coming up, we got the Oscars coming up. What do you think about the lack of diversity? Mm. I believe that diversity is lacked, but then we say this every year, and then it's, it's like then, happen. then it, it. But here's what it is: they give you diversity, but then they always skip over us, the men too. The women get it sometimes, and then when the women get it, 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 it becomes a wall between that. And then, then the cool thing about that is that most of my jobs have came from men, women of color, because mm. they looked out for me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I will always support y'all. I love. I love y'all. <laughs> I love it. I'm in a circle because y'all always, they, all, every time, like without, every time I'm in the in 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 the bind or whatever, my sisters always throw me up. They be like, "Yo, B, you got it." And so then, that's one thing I love about it. But I, one thing I don't love, not sorry, not to cut no, you no, off. No, no. One thing I don't love is that everybody goes diversity. We all clap, we cry, and they always skip over the the the, the, the brother. They be like, "Okay, great. Okay, forget that. Okay, we're gonna put one here." Boom, 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 and then everybody else is is a different. For, you know what I mean? So it's kind of the the, the, to the, the tokenism and diversity, which we talked about here yeah. uh, on Sister Circle Live last week. Um, do you feel like? I mean, you've been very open and vulnerable and, and outspoken here with us, but do you feel like you have to censor your material uh, no. in, the, in the way this world is is shaped now? No, it's all you presented. Perspective, you know, um, uh, Chappelle did a great job presenting yes. his perspective. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's how you say it. Like you could, like for me, I don't. So I told you, I don't. I don't believe in extremism. So it's like, I think we all can sit at a table and have different perspectives. I think isn't that what makes us human? Yeah. When do we all agree? We not gonna all agree ever. Ever. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't right. agree with, but I got a brother. He likes this. I like that. Like it. It's, it. Humans are different. So it's all about how you 
you um, um, show your perspective. And then for me, it's just like, um, this is the perspective I, I was called to. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe that um, it's, it's working and this is, this is the Kingdom Over Everything movement is, is what the perspective that I'm on that's working, so. And so, okay, well, you know, you, you, you're just a wealth of knowledge over here, Brandon. I, I just want to get all in your, <laughs> your, your brain. So with what Terry Crews said mm -hmm. about, you know, what that was kind of combative towards what Gabrielle Union mm -hmm. said, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think that Terry was just using his voice, or do you think that he could have done that in a better way to kind of support and use his voice at the same time? I would suggest that, uh, for me, house business is stay in the house. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we can talk amongst ourselves because we're too vulnerable as a nation to be able to uh, call people out, what you call it. So it's like, for me, because um, I don't want to sound hypocritical doing the same thing that Terry, I would more suggest uh, in love that we, we come to each other privately. Because I used to do that too. Like when I had an issue with certain people, like man, first of all, and I, and I was telling jokes, but I realized that those jokes were hurting people instead of going to them. Scriptures say you're supposed to go to, to somebody face to face first. Mm -hmm. Then you go to the congregation. So if this person want to be wicked, okay, now we're telling everybody, hey y'all, check this out. This person stole some money from me. Right. And I went to him personally, but at least want to go personally to somebody. Mm -hmm. And then you, out the mouth of two witnesses, then you go. It's just order. Mm -hmm. Then you go and maybe tell the world if that person continues to do something that's 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 out of order. But mm -hmm. I, I personally believe I would have went to Gabrielle, and um, um, I would have just spoke about um, the situation and say he spoke his truth. But I would say I support Gabrielle yeah, and what yeah. she's mm -hmm. and what uh, what what she's uh, experience. her experienced. Right. Um, and and we have to make it. We have to get it. Has to come get better. Right. Yeah. And. Um, that doesn't disclaim that I, you know. It's just it's just how you how you say. It's things. how you present it. Uh, before we wrap up, talk a little bit about the tour. Oh yes, the Kingdom Comedy Tour. Um, I, I was supposed to be throwing some free shows around. This is a clean culture tour. We were supposed to be throwing a, a, a free some free shows mm -hmm. all over the uh, world uh, for my sponsors. Y'all see, I said it. But I ain't saying the name of the sponsor until <laughs> we sign these contracts. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm saying it over now because it's yeah, all this stuff they be doing. But I'm let, make sure, nah, I'm real, man. All these games. So y'all see, we doing the comedy show for real. I'm on here saying it. But yeah, it's gonna be free comedy shows. We throwing. Um, it's we need to laugh right now. Yeah. All right, we need to laugh. Laugh to keep so crying. much going on. So. Well, thank you thank so you much. Thank you guys. The incredibly so talented Brandon T. Jackson, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Be sure to check out his new movie Trap City and follow his Kingdom, Kingdom over everything movie on Instagram.